Hello and welcome to this extremely quick Blender tutorial. My name is Jonathan Lampell, and in this video we're going to be modeling a chess piece in under 30 seconds. So it's not going to be absolutely perfect, you might want to tweak it a little bit afterwards, but I think that we can go from this plane that we have right here, just a normal plane, to what we have here in this background image in under 30 seconds. So I'll explain as I go. There's a couple steps at the end that'll go by pretty fast, and I'll explain those afterwards in case you are interested. So let's hit start on this timer and see if we can do it. So inside of Blender, I'm going to go into edit mode, delete all of the vertices, and then I'm going to control click starting at this origin here and control click around the outside perimeter of half of this sh shape. I want to be kind of careful, but we don't have too much time. So boom, 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 boom. Okay. Add modifier, hit S to add a screw modifier, control three in the viewport, and now we have our chess piece. With three or four seconds to spare, I think we did pretty good. All right, so what exactly was going on? So in Blender, if you have a vertice selected and you hit control click, that's automatically going to add another vert vertice wherever you click. Um, and that's really handy and can help you model things very quickly. You can see even with edges, it works like that too. So that can be a very efficient way to model. And if you don't have anything selected, then if you're doing vertices, it's just going to add an empty vertice uh, wherever that is. So that's how I got the base of it. And then I added this screw modifier, which what it does is it takes a straight edge and it spins it around an axis um, according to its origin point. So I automatically it's set to the Z axis. However, you can spin it on the x-axis, you can see it's kind of like a ceiling decal or something, or the y-axis. But of course for this chess piece we want a z-axis. And I did that just by hitting s, which for some reason does the screw modifier, not the subsurf modifier, not sure why, but you can also find it just right here. So add modifier, screw. And then to add the subdivision service modifier very quickly, I just hit control 3 to add a level of 3. You can also hit control one. And by the way, this is not on the numpad. This is actually on the top row of keys. So control two will give us a level of two in the viewport. So that's very cool. And now we can, of course, go in to edit mode with our vertices selected. And we can tweak just this one edge. And that's actually going to affect the entire model. And you can see that we can even select an edge W and subdivide kind of sharpen that up as if it were an edge loop and we can also if we wanted to press control R and add another vertice and then select it and move it around again it is very similar to adding an edge loop and we just want to sharpen up some of these points here so again I'm pressing control R and then G to kind of grab it and move it along like so so now we have our chess piece All right, whoops, I missed that one right there. All right, so thanks for watching this extremely quick tutorial. I hope you learned something, uh, especially about screw modifier or just control clicking to really quickly add geometry and seeing how fast Blender's workflow can actually be. If you like this kind of video, then let me know down below. I'm gonna try a couple different experimental videos just to play around with it and have a little bit of fun and see what you guys like. Uh, if there's a tutorial that you want, then just let me know and I'll try to add it to the list of things to do. So again, thanks for watching and as always, have a good one.